Well, hello and welcome back. This is Nate. How many of y'all are from New York? Oh, well, I'm sure there's a couple of you at least. I don't know how many of you actually said yes. But I got the upper end of the Bronx. <laughs> I don't even know, honestly. I couldn't tell you what the Bronx looks like other than what I see on TV. If there's an upper end or a lower end. But this one is definitely not low end. This one is called the Bronx. I am at Pratt Homes here in Tyler, Texas with this wonderful, beautiful four bedroom, two bath home with a nice built in front porch there so you can get out of the weather as you're unlocking your door. Say thanks to Pratt Homes for letting me come film the homes. Now I forgot what the square footage was when I was trying to come up with my intro joke there. Sorry about that. But trust me, y'all are going to like this one. Okay, so if you guys are at Pratt Homes, you guys should ask for either Blaine Noble or Chase Van Zura. Uh, those two guys were really helpful. I'll throw up a card up on the screen here real quick. You know, if you go in there, ask for them too. They were real helpful in uh, getting information for me. They'll be real helpful in getting information for you and uh, probably hook you up with a really good deal. So uh, once again, it's Blaine Noble and Chase Van Zura. So uh, ask for them too if you're in the uh, Tyler, Texas area and you're looking at a home at Pratt Homes. These two are the guys to go see. So on the back side here, we've got, of course, your windows. You've got these great big, basically floor-to-ceiling windows in your dining room area. The back door to our uh, utility room. I believe that one is above your sink. So what do you think of the outside? Well, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit that like button. It should be popping up if it hasn't popped up already. And check out this front porch area here. So now as we come in, we've got our family tree. Hopefully no leaves are falling off. And then we've got our coat closet over here. So it's nice to see a coat closet as soon as you walk in the door. And then once you put your coat away, you're going to want to stop and just breathe in and admire your beautiful home and look at that ceiling the wood beams here and then you've got the wood accent up above you really nice ceiling fan up there you've seen this in a couple of homes and it just it looks really good it just kind of catches your eye right when you walk in and if that don't catch your eye You've got this really nice built-in electric fireplace sitting in this the uh, surround built-in. And you can enjoy all of this beautiful view from this extra large living room. Almost sound like I'm trying to be on the prices right. <laughs> no, I'm not trying to replace the guy that uh, 
does all the announcing for the prices, right? But for some reason, that just popped in my head as I'm trying to describe the, the living room here. <laughs> I've tried to change up the, the words I use a little bit, and <laughs> all of a sudden now I'm thinking I'm the, and the price is right. <laughs> oh, well. It's all in fun and games, right? <laughs> And we've got our dining room over here. <laughs> Still, the, oh, uh, yeah. All right, serious. Come on. You got a job to do. People want to see this home. I do like these big windows over here. So I guess there's supposed to be another house right over to the right over here that's the best in town. Let's see. Well, I guess I haven't filmed that one there over there. So maybe that is the best in town. We'll have to go take a look here in a little bit. But meanwhile, we got to focus on the Bronx. Big island, seating for two, cabinets on each end on this side. Now that little box in there is going to be for your electrical plugs on each end. Now if you're looking for something that's got like say this kind of a layout in the floor plan for this area but yet totally different with all the other bedrooms in the locations of the bedrooms look for the Caden on whether it's up or not I don't know yet I'll have to let you know down below the kitchen and the living room are basically identical the rest of the home the where the floor plans laid out totally different so uh, if you're interested in something like this, but don't end up liking where the bedrooms and stuff are, go check out the Caden. But finish watching this one first. <laughs> so that was the one that I just got done filming before I came in here. We gotta go down here and get to the bedrooms. <laughs> but first, our pantry. Now it does run down both sides a little bit. And then into our bathroom. Now this house does have power it's got a little push button thing out there to turn them on and for some reason I couldn't get it to turn on <laughs> the other one that had the push button I got to come on just fine so I'm doing this one without power and without a light so that tells you how much natural light is coming into this home the great big shower tub combo And just past our bathroom is our linen closet. Or if that pantry isn't big enough, you could always use that for your pantry. As an add-on, I guess you could say. And in bedroom number one. Now, as I was stating also, earlier when we were in the kitchen to go check out the Caden well it's only a three bedroom version also so if you don't need the fourth bedroom and then across from that one bedroom number two 
Now this one doesn't have the sun shining directly into it because the sun is on that side of the home. But you can see there was still a lot of light coming in. Like I said, the, these great big windows that they've got in here, during the day you would never need to use lights. And into bedroom number three. Now this one has the floor to, well, not quite floor to ceiling, but once you throw the transom in there, it might as well be. The closet doesn't stick out into the bedroom. This one has a much larger closet that's recessed. And with that, now we get to go to the other end. This is where it gets really good. Like the house wasn't good already, right? Down here in the master bedroom, it's not directly off your living room. But before I let you see that, we got to show you your utility room. Because here is where your water heater is. Your side-by-side -side washer and dryer. With some cabinets up there, we've got our heating and air unit and lots of room back here for a freezer. Heck, you could put a regular freezer and a chest freezer. And another linen closet. Uh-oh, what's that over there? And that. Is that two closets? No, nope, nope. One big closet. <laughs> nice built in shelving there. Now we can check out the master bedroom. <laughs> see, I was teasing you. I wasn't going to let you see it. Now that is a king size bed for reference. Look at all those windows. <laughs> Uh, let's see if I can come over here and get you a, kind of a brighter shot. And into the bathroom. Yes, the bathroom. I told you the bathroom was really nice. Hello, Raiden. So again, we've got our stack of drawers, lots of cabinet space down here. More linen cabinets or storage for whatever else you want to put in there. Of course, we've got our lights above each one of our sinks. And this really large and deep soaker tub here. Now you don't have the great big window, but you've got the transom directly above your soaker tub. The water closet right next door to your shower over here. Now this has got the tile shower with the rustic wood look. You got the giant rain head shower. But the only change I would make is maybe put a bench right there or somewhere in here. That way you can sit down and scrub the feet without having to 
worry about being clumsy like me and falling on your butt. <laughs> but I don't want you being clumsy and falling on your butt down in the comments. Just kind of walk gradually or lightly tread your way down there. Lightly click the tap or the comment button, whatever. And uh, leave me a comment down below. What do you think of the home? I know I was being a little silly in this one, but, uh, you know, got to change things up a little bit, right? I can't be Mr. Serial all the time. And with that, don't forget to uh, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. That way you get notified when I upload videos. Really appreciate you watching. And I, well, I hope you all enjoyed this video. So this was called the Bronx. This is a 2,040 square foot home. Super nice. So there's lots of stuff to like about it. Like I said, I haven't got the Caden up yet. At this point, it will be coming up shortly. So go back, check that one out. But in the meantime, pricing information I have for this home is at time of filming in January of 2023. So that price may or may not be the same price it's going for right now. As you know, prices fluctuate. There could be extra city, county fees, delivery fees, things like that. Pratt Homes does deliver all the way out to some of the surrounding um, states. So there's things to consider when it comes to the actual price of the home. But with that, Pratt Homes did not provide me with an actual price because there's so many different options in their homes. They're very customizable. So the range, though, is $75 to $100 a square foot. Now, I'll try to up above you have the what that would be price-wise. But uh, anyway, just keep all that kind of stuff in mind. I do appreciate you watching. Hope you all are hitting the like button, subscribe button. Turn on them notifications. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.